Welcome to my kitchen. Today, instead of cooking, I'll show you my favorite way to cut pineapple. For years, I've tried to find the most efficient technique. The two things I'm looking for are have minimum wastage and yet be fairly quick. I'll briefly run through some methods with their pros and cons and then tell you which method I think is the most efficient. So let's begin. A ripe pineapple should have a nice aroma, especially at the base here. The sweetest parts are concentrated in the lower area and just below the skin. The top part is usually not as sweet. That's why I was taught to always store pineapples upside down like this. Then sweetness from the base will move down and be more evenly distributed. Not sure if this is scientific, but it seems to always work. First, I'll show you how to cut with a pineapple corer. It comes with a detachable handle, has a corer in the center, and a 3-inch diameter cutting blade. The measurement is not adjustable, so it works best for pineapples that fit its size. Let's see, this one is too large, there would be too much wasted fruit. Mm. This smaller one looks about right. First, we'll cut off the top, center the corer and then push and rotate it into the pineapple. You should feel the movement of the blade inside. Continue pushing and rotating the cutter until you feel it reaches the bottom. Now, pull upward to remove the fruit from the skin. Remove the handle, then invert it. The fruit should slide off easily. Finally, with a single stroke from the side, we cut our spiral into serving pieces. The main plus for this tool, it works quickly. The fruit was removed in under two minutes. The biggest negative is not being adjustable. If your pineapple is big, there will be a lot of wastage. Even with a small pineapple, you can see so much of the sweetest fruit near the skin being left behind. The next method is the most common and straightforward. Let's go through it briefly. First, cut off both ends. Then, slide off the skin from top to bottom, making the cut deep enough to remove the dark round spots called eyes which are not palatable. Cut around until the skin and the eyes are removed. That's it! It is ready to slice into serving pieces. The process for this method are It's easy to do, no special tools are needed and it's fairly quick. It removes the fruit in just under 3 minutes. A negative is that even though it cuts closer to the skin, much of the sweet part will still be removed along with the eyes. Last of all, we'll use the shallow V-shaped cut method. First, cut off both ends. Start by cutting just enough to remove the skin. Leave the eyes on for now. Okay, we got the skin off. I'll tidy the workspace and then we'll proceed to the next step. Notice the diagonal pattern of the spots? Follow the pattern and make a shallow V-shaped cut. Just deep enough to take them out, two spots at a time. That way, we don't lose the sweet part that's between the spots.
All right. It took six minutes doing it this way. Look at the pretty pattern of the cut. I love it. The best way to serve is by slicing it from top to bottom. Remove the tough core portions and discard them. Now, each piece will have a portion of the sweet base along with some of the less sweet part from the top. Among the three different ways I've shown you, my favorite is that last one. It took just a bit longer, but was worth it. It keeps all of the sweetest parts of the fruit. Those belongs on your plate, not in the trash. Thank you for spending time with me today. I hope you found this video useful. To be notified of upcoming video with kitchen tips like this, you can subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon. Bye.